All right, here is my interview with Sevilla, and if it goes over 60 seconds, which it will, uh, you can watch the rest of it on TikTok, which allows 10 minutes. Uh, but if you're watching this Instagram, Facebook, welcome. We are at PodFest. Did I get your name right, Sevilla? You said it perfectly. Thank you. Excellent. And uh, what I'm doing is mini interviews here at the PodFest Festival, uh, getting to meet all the amazing podcasters that are here and uh, just letting you discover them. And we're doing it in reels because that's what everybody likes these days. It's all about the reels. All about the reels. And you've just started on TikTok, so I'll tag you underneath however this all works. Um, so what is, uh, like, what do you, do you have a podcast? I have two podcasts. Two? Show off. All right. Okay. What are they? <laughs> One is Childless Not By Choice. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because I, maybe I heard you talking today because that's. Probably at the yeah. TEDx talk. Yeah, I, I just came in right at the end of that, and I was like, oh, I want to talk to that woman, because yes. I, I am childless by stupidity, probably, <laughs> I guess. I don't know if that falls in the category. Okay, so that's the first one. Yes, that one will be seven in July. Um, I just posted episode 140, and so... Seven years? Yes. See, I've been thinking... I guess I podcasts have been around that long. I've been researching been this for 10... Five. <laughs> yeah, I know. I remember, actually, yeah, more than 10 years ago, I was like, how do I do a podcast? And mm -hmm. I was going to work with a producer, and I took a class for a whole day, and I still never did it until, like, two years ago. Finally just said, okay, how do I upload a file? And I just mm -hmm. signed up for hosting and did it. So you're on the ball. Yeah. Okay. So I had, I had help. I had two Scottish gentlemen who I found on Lab all of those years ago anybody remember blab what is wait that does sound familiar what is that it was kind of like um what's the name of that new place now that new community that everybody's talking about oh um, uh not discord no not uh oh my gosh what is it called? not trump's truth social <laughs> no. not uh meet me on uh not facebook no not instagram i can't remember what it's line called. whatsapp no uh it's a community Goodness, I can't believe I can't remember. Like where people talk on, oh, like Reddit? No. no. It's not, Reddit. Uh, not Quora? No. We could list off every website we'll in the world. remember after we finish recording. So, yeah, Friendster, like out of MySpace, but no. <laughs> Blab. So, it's a new place. So, it was old. It's, a, it's, yeah. it's, it's now defunct, but it used to be a place where you can go in, like go into a, a virtual room. Oh, and meet with like people. the metaverse? Kind of, yeah. yeah. And everybody had a room. Oh, I know what you're talking room. about. What's the new thing that it's not Minecraft, but it's like second life or okay okay so okay go ahead so anyway i met these two guys in there because they were friends with uh, a guy that i met who's american living in denmark and i was like denmark an american living in denmark how cool so we befriended each other and then these two scottish gentlemen would come in and we would all just always be meeting up in there weird right yeah anyway um they helped me set up my podcast created my colors helped me with my colors they worked with me virtually down into their morning and wow. now my yeah awesome and now my podcast I, I i will always be thankful to them for everything they did to help to and get me started is that even their job like their podcast no. expert they were just sort of knew about it and they, they were like, just what? knew about it they knew more about it than i did and they said i'm gonna help this girl hi hi we're gonna help this lassie <laughs> this american lassie doesn't know how to do a podcast that's just wrong <laughs> We've got to build sort of the You've biggest that podcast. Down. I uh, I acted in a commercial years ago. I wrote a commercial about a little mini man that it was for mini Nutrigrain bars, and and I was like, you know, I, I was like, what if there's a little tiny Scottish guy? He's like, I'm not sure why they call them mini because they're huge because they were bigger than me. And then the client Kellogg's was like, we like the way you present it. We want you to be the guy in the commercial. How cool is that? And so I just did my Mike Myers accent, and then I wound up doing another one with a uh, like for a cartoon called Time Warp Trio, where I was like a Scottish guy. And, <laughs> And uh, yeah. that's pretty good. <laughs> it's, it's pretty good. I, I took a dialect class for my second uh, commercial and the teacher was like, yeah, you pretty much got it. You know, oh, wow. so, okay. so I had a cassette tape that I had to listen to. Like, it's roll your arms. <laughs> so, like, so, yeah, yeah they were very helpful. I will always remember them. Awesome. Well, we should go to Scotland and visit them sometime. Yes. And then my other podcast is just 25 episodes and it's called Not Just Another Religion and Politics Podcast. Ah. And I kept it at 25 episodes because that's all I had to say on the subject. Oh, you're done. It's like a mini series. It's a mini series, yes. That's good. Yes. Is it like you want to be like Seinfeld, you go out on a high, you're like, we're done. Right. And do, do, can you see that people, you still get listens? Oh, yeah. People tune in, they listen, and um, I, I'm going to just keep it live. I that's, plan on just, yeah. Sure, just, don't take it down. Oh, yeah. Like, People want to come in and listen. I mean, and, and there's no more uh, news in politics or religion, so there's nothing more to talk about. <laughs> never, 
never changes. No, no. I'm just... Yeah, well, you can maybe pick it up again. People will be like, we want a revival. We want, like, the Friends revival. We want to hear more of it. More about, or maybe I could come on and I could talk about politics and such. I listen to a lot of political podcasts. You never know. I've interviewed Billy Graham's granddaughter on there. So wow, you know, that's you know. pretty cool. So yeah. is there a specific uh, like perspective on it? Like, I mean, I think my perspective on it is that you win more bees with honey than mm. you do with vitriol. So yeah, you know, that's so, what I'm thinking. <laughs> so you're an, you're an angry right wing uh, commentator. Not a chance. No, okay, <laughs> but yeah, I wish. I mean, I like to be the great unifier myself like I can sort of see all perspectives mm-hmm. and I you know I like to assume people have good intentions and this is why they view things and stuff so yeah well maybe yeah. we can we can uh, do that together I'll come in and we'll uh, we'll do the the honey podcast or yes. whatever um <laughs> and the childless one so that's interesting because you were that's right in the TED talk uh like there he was giving a speech and I just came in at the end but he was talking about how to make your own TED talk right. um and uh, you were saying yeah, he was saying, like, your thing is, I assume you're childless, and, oh, yeah, you're connecting, you're teaching people with children what it's like to be childless uh, yes. so that they, they understand us. We understand each other. Mm-hmm. We, we need to connect more, and I, my whole thing was empathy, is empathy. Right, right. And so I asked him how to, because he was helping us create titles for our TED Talk, and I just couldn't come up with anything more than empathy, although empathy is yeah. what I want to create. Yeah, and he said... You know, it's good if you can boil it down to one word, but um, but also, yeah, for the title, you know, empathy is too general. You want to be a bit more niche down, right. so people will be like, so yeah, it's something like what I learned about empathy uh, because of being childless, right. or you know, it's something like that, and then it would draw in the childless people, right. uh, and then and then it can grow from there. And he's like, you know, and you might have a, pre- you're a woman of color. That's what he said. And, uh, you know, you might connect with people differently than a 40-year-old white guy. But, I mean, of course I'd be interested in a podcast. And it, it all became very awkward. And, yes, my <laughs> June episode is going to be with a 40-something-year-old white guy. All right. Maybe me. <laughs> he's, a, he's in New Zealand, actually. He's oh, yeah. Canadian, but he lives in New Zealand. It's funny. I met a girl from New Zealand, uh, like, three years ago that I wound up traveling with a bit. And she said, come to New Zealand. We can avoid yeah. winters and go back and forth. And... And I would have had kids with her now, but I didn't. And now she's married with someone else. So maybe, maybe there's another me out there with her. Who knows? Yep. Um, but life. that thing called life. Yeah, I guess. And I keep, and that's been the theme of Podfest. I keep mm-hmm. telling everybody, here's my regrets about everything. And it's like you got to keep moving forward. You can't yep. be like, why didn't I marry that girl or whatever? Yep. But that is my big regret. We got two minutes left. But in terms of being childless, it's like, yeah, like I had great girlfriends in my 20s and 30s, and I'm like, I could have locked it down. I never sat down to do the math. Like at 35, mm-hmm. like you. The you magic need to, number. Yeah. yeah, you need to do it or not. Yeah. And I was like, oh, I'll just bring it At all. least for the women. Yeah, yeah, at least for the women. But even to, to have that time. Like, yeah, maybe I could have a kid now, but, you know, I, I would rather have a grown-up kid now that I could talk to. And right. grandkids, like, you, you can't get back that time. You Than can dealing be, with the terrible twos right now. Yeah, you can be... <laughs> but I still yearn for it. Yeah. It's But then now i got to meet a woman that's, like, 20 years younger to be able to even do it. Mm-hmm. It's all very frustrating. Mm-hmm. Um, but maybe you have some words of wisdom because you're the expert. Like you just said, you just you can only look forward at mm-hmm. this point. Look forward, be positive, yeah, and do the best with the, what you have now, what you have left. Yeah, you never know what's going to be what's coming down. Yeah, I mean, I had an uncle that, you know, he was 47. Met my aunt when she was 30, and they had a couple of kids. Um, Dean Graciosi, I love. He's mm-hmm. had a couple of kids after 50, but he's already got teens. But uh, what was I going to say? I had some profound thing. Uh, oh yeah, I keep looking for celebrities that don't have kids, and I was just googling Ricky Gervais, and he decided not to have kids. So it's Ricky Gervais and um, Bill Maher, the two that don't want kids. So I'm like, oh okay, they still seem to have fun. Right. And but, I speak to people who don't want to have kids as well. Yeah, and that's you should have that choice. <laughs> oh, for sure. I mean, of course. I mean, there's a lot of people we we would be happy if they didn't have kids. Right. Um, so that's good. Well, maybe every day when I'm feeling uh, Jennifer sad. Jennifer Aniston, by the way. Oh yeah, how did that ever happen? I would I, love to interview Jennifer Aniston if anybody's listening that's connected because we know about that 60 degrees of separation. I think it's six, but yes. Yeah. But, but six it, degrees of, yes. There's probably 60 between us no, and no, Jennifer no, Aniston. No, no, no I know. I'm just kidding. Uh, it's the Kevin Bacon <laughs> thing. positive. Yeah, yeah. It's like maybe, well, it's probably like two. I mean, I know people. I don't know. Yeah, all right. Let's get Jennifer Aniston yes. on. Let's, and uh, yeah, because that, I mean, yeah, she was married to Brad Pitt and all of this stuff. Tom Green, a Canadian comedian, married Drew Barrymore, never had kids, and he's my age, and he's all kind of, uh, I don't know, he talks about it in the stand-up. But anyways, uh, I guess we'll end this at 10 minutes so it can fit onto TikTok. Okay. But everybody follow her 
new her current podcast and her old podcast and uh, her TikTok will get her numbers up and you'll be on my show again. Maybe you'll be my new co-host all the time. 